Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Fields. I am the director of the Montgomery County chapter of the Pennsylvania Democratic Black Caucus. Today, we're bringing the Horton brothers to tell the real truth and let the truth be told about who John Fetterman really is. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to talking to you when we're done. And we're going to tell Pennsylvania this is the real Fetterman. This is what really happens to our black men. You know, there was no way, no, despite all the, the evidence that's pointing to innocence, there was no path way out for us. That's the sad thing about it, but John Fetterman, you stick this real reminder to help us to get home. And and he knew that he was going to be attacked because guess what? When you look on TV, you see all these horrible lowdown you know, TV ads that the Republicans are running. These packs that's running for the Republican Party is just crazy. Came home. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that the two innocent men that Dr. Oz is talking about. Yeah. He said he should fire. Another thing that people don't know is that. John is the person who set the agents. And not only did he help us to come home, such as two innocent men, but he put his money with, we always say, money with all things. And he hired us to work on this campaign. So he's not only talking about checking second chances, he's about helping people to get a second chance. Oh, my grandmother used to always talk about, you know, it's not about what people do out in the open. I don't know what should say. It's about what they do behind closed doors to fight them. It for us, I closed doors and nobody was looking at nobody cared. And the Bible says it's not what you do in public, it's what you do in secret. I'm saying to you, God was with him then, he's with him now, he saved his life in such a time as this, to be our U.S. Wow, the truth be told, you heard it for yourself. The Horton brothers made it very clear who John Fetterman really is. Now that you know the truth, let it be told.